Uh, Richard Miller, First Place Poetry, 2009, Lepidotria, or Butterflies. There is a blue chair in a room with 60 men. It bears the gravity of a black hole, an inward burning star, drawing all light, all matter toward it. Names flutter on it like butterflies with broken wings. Fancy, Lenora, Consuela, Dany, Diamond, Angelica, Destiny, Skippers, Whirlabouts, Swallowtails, Metal Marks, Ringlets, Hair Streaks, Queens. The room is a crazy time capsule, part Greek temple, part Colosseum, part Chrysalis. Its entrance supported by three pillars, wisdom, understanding, patience. Strange magical runes embellish its walls. Foreign exotic words which, like Joseph's golden plates, require ermine, thummin, and breastplate to decipher. Respect, boundaries, empathy, honesty, victim, human, value. Principalis, veritas, fidelis, sinceritas, fundamentum, economon. Magnificentum. Some have had these words transcribed to them, are beginning to understand. Some scratch their heads, sure though the walls to places which no longer exist. Squirrels, nose to the window seeking nuts or graham crackers. Hawks can be seen on distant delicate clouds. The staccato crackle of nearby gunfire startles dense flocks of starlings momentarily darkening to the sky. A clock is held to the wall with eyes. The men being men tell bad jokes, cringe inwardly, laugh, think, what a joke. Tell more jokes. Circumstances follow. There are 57 different remedies for their phobias, some which actually work, like harvester moths. We are carnivorous. We have all ravaged beauty. We, too, have names. Markel, Byron, Donnie, Calvin, Jameson, Daniel, Alden. Fathers, husbands, brothers, uncles, cousins, acquaintances, strangers. In ancient Greece, it was said the soul departs the dying body in the form of a butterfly. In other parts, butterflies are acknowledged keepers of displaced spirits, deliverers, perhaps of misplaced dreams. I sit in my chair, weighted in my crimes. A breeze, a breath rustles the names, and I watch, enthralled, as the room begins filling with others, standing, elbowing, smoking, jabbering, listening, idling, genuflecting, almost as if we are not there, but we are here as they see us. One big girl, an angry face, shoves at a guy's shoulders, rages. Listen, damn you, listen. Her momentum carrying straight through. The guy nudges his neighbor, points at the clock. A mother holds the hands of her children. A boy with curls and a missing tooth, a girl who needs to eat more. They stand overlapping a man they resemble. Their tears glisten like honeydew, drop silently on a puddle to the floor. Other tears fall. Pool, a rivulet fall, stretches, wends its way towards me like a living finger of God. The room is packed so densely my lungs labor. There are butterflies in my stomach. The sound of beating wings is deafening. I want to hold, to comfort every person, every spirit I see. I long to take the griefs buried within each, purify it all in the golden core of my being. Channel it outward into the communal air in the astonishing blue sea. Dissolve it all into the eternity which is our legacy. I want desperately the power to repair butterfly wings. Certain lipochondrian novel stages bore patiently into the heartwood of full-grown trees. Emerge from a dying tree metamorphose to fly away like living jewels. I hear the silent clock ticking on the wall. No, the moment is gone. See everything as it is. Room, chair, men. The voices drone ceaselessly 
as one thought clouds my mind. Look, damn you, look! Yet my voice remains like the clock, like the moon, like the tears. I open my mouth to pronounce the words. What comes out is butterfly.